Hey guys, welcome back to School of Wok's YouTube channel. I'm Jeremy and it's all about our new bow bun kits today. We're super excited about our bow bun kits and I hope you are too. And if you really are, but you don't have a steam basket or a traditional bamboo steam basket, I'm gonna show you in this video how to use whatever you might have, or of course, just buy one of the School of Wok bamboo steam baskets and we'll all be happy. So your traditional steamer like this, your bamboo steamer, is designed specifically for dim sum and bao. And what a lot of people don't realise is really it's the gold standard of steaming. So if you can see here that we've got a little bit of condensation, but most of it's really collected by the steam basket itself. So it won't drip back down and make your bao soggy. Now if you've got one of these sort of small metal steamers or any type of metal steamer, with a glass lid or a metal lid, there are certain problems that could arise. And you can see that from the amount of condensation that collects on the lid, but also then drips back down to the sides and the base of the steamer. That pool of water there is gonna make your bowels soggy. Doesn't mean you can't use it. There are different ways of doing that. So if I was to start that steamer from scratch and put a base of greaseproof paper on top that would protect it somewhat from getting too soggy. The next thing is, when you place your bow into the steamer, try not to overfill or let your bow touch the sides. Those sides can get quite wet. Next up, if you put the lid on top, yes, you would get some bow. Sorry, I'm steaming away there. But again, it might become a little soggy from that dripping. So the real perfect way to make your bow with anything that isn't a bamboo steamer is to cover that lid with a clean cloth and then place your lid on top. And that way, you've got to get a lot less dripping. Now you've also got tabletop steamers like this, and yes, our bow bun kits will work with this, but you can see the amount of water and condensation there. I'd recommend just a quick wipe before your grease proof goes in, and then follow the same principle as your metal steamer. A little bit of grease proof, pop a couple of bows in, give them space, and then your lid can go directly on top, or if you wish, cover it with a clean cloth and then straight over the top like that to collect any excess condensation. And that'll keep your bowers nice and fluffy. Now last but not least, if you don't have any type of steamer at all, don't worry, we are here to help. A bowl with some water and then a plate with grease proof on top. I've got this in a wok, but you could do this in a large saucepan if you wish. I haven't heated the water up yet. Now I'm gonna to start to heat the water up. And then I've got a nice tall lid to go over the top. Or in a saucepan with a flat lid, that's fine because you've got plenty of depth for that water to steam. Again, with a domed lid on a wok like this, you probably don't really need a, an extra cloth to cover that lid but with a flat glass lid you may do because it's got a flat surface area and that condensation will drip directly onto the bow buns. And that's not what we want. No one likes soggy bow. Steaming hot. Get your bows in. And I've got more space in the wok here so I can place a few bows in. And then once it's boiling hot, lid over the top. Eight minutes, your bow should come out perfectly fine. So all of our different methods of cooking have had eight minutes on their bow. And of course, if you don't have your steam basket, your traditional bamboo steam basket, and you have this completely unconventional way of cooking your bow, look how fluffy and light they are, and not soggy at all. Beautiful. Next up, let's see how the tabletop steamer fares. Again, nice and bouncy. 
Look at that. No condensation. Whew, steaming hot. No condensation at all. Perfect. Metal steamer, possibly the hardest one, especially because of its size. Let's check. We've had a few droplets of water on the actual grease proof. If I take my bow out, look at that. Fluffy, light, just the same. And then back to your gold standard. Again, fluffy, light, no condensation at all. And that, of course, the traditional bamboo steam basket fares best nice and dry. But any of the alternatives work an absolute treat too, if you know how. I hope that helps. So if you don't have a traditional bamboo steam basket and your birthday's not for another year, then make sure you grab hold of one of our School of Walk Bow Bun Kits from Tesco or Lakeland and try it out on whatever equipment you have at home.